Hey, what is going on guys? Jolt here, and I'm back with another video, and today we're going to be going over the ultimate roll-in. So this is going to be a game save video. Uh, I will link the game save down in the description. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can download it, use it for whatever. And yeah, let's get into the build. Alright, so we have plenty of items here. My main focus is combat rifles. Uh, he does have a shotgun build too, but I don't use it too much. Because I'm in love with the combat rifles, to be honest. So, first off, Steel Undertaker. This is good for second winds. Put it on if you need a second wind. Glorious Serpents. This is going to be, you know, a really good pearl. Really good corrosive damage. Now, the Jackal. This is going to be for if you're doing the cheese on Craw. Uh, you go in the corner, wedge yourself in the corner, shoot it up and over and hit his back. Pretty easy. The Bessie. This is going to be mostly for Craw if you're trying to shoot the limbs. Um, also really good for like sniping and mobbing long range. Ares, this is going to be for healing. So you shoot the enemy or shoot a corpse and you can actually reach out on them. Unforgiven Masha, now this is one of the highest DPS items in the game per shot. Uh, so I recommend it for crawls limbs or those nasty headshots. Defiler, this is good for anybody. It will wreck raiders and also the armored worms in the crawl fight and many more. Crux, now this is going to be for your shotgun build if you want to do that. Hellfire, this is going to be good for anybody. The fire damage is just insane. Volcano, really good sniper, really good fire damage. Orion, this is going to be a top tier shock sniper. Good for pretty much wrecking any shield. Skullmasher, now this is for if you don't want to use the Bessie. Uh, they're both really good. Um, you know, it depends on what you want to use. Now, this is the Cyclops Kairos Power Hybrid. So when you shoot enemies, you can heal off of them, which is really cool. The Explosive Crux, this is going to be for your shotgun build if you want to do that. The Golden Double Anarchy, you get this from the round 5 of the Circle of Duty with Lilith. Um, I just transferred it over to Roland. It has a little bit higher base damage and is really good for pretty much any situation. The Draco, now there is a glitch in this game that makes it not called the Draco. Also, it's Legendary Rarity, but there's a glitch that makes it not Legendary. You can see there are 100 plus mag uh, with Roland you can boost that up even further around 300 shots yeah pretty insane the spears of all the elements these beat the uh, purple counterparts of like the massacres or havocs for elements also they're really accurate and have like almost no recoil double stinger again this is a golden variant uh, just from you know the circle of duty round five and it's pretty good for long range a helix launcher now some people complain about this but you can see there 2,000 times three that's about 6,000 damage per shot and you can see here the Undertaker, about 3,500. You know, it really depends on what you want to use. I prefer the Helix. It's a little more accurate. Then we have Sledge's Shotgun. This is going to be for the shotgun build if you want to do that. Leviathan. This is going to be for when you're fighting Craw. You can do the ledge glitch and shoot it up and over his back. The Vladoff Loyalty Com. This is going to be for your chopper. If you put this on with the chopper, uh, this thing pretty much shreds. Yeah, you're going to use a lot of ammo, but... The DPS is actually insane. By the way, DPS is damage per second. Now we have two heavy gunners. One's going to be for your extra weapon damage. And one's going to be for your weapon uh, fire rate, which is actually really good. And you can see there you have plus four metal storm. Uh, so your fire rate's pretty much going to get insane when you get a kill skill. And also boost your mag by quite a bit. This is one of my favorite class mods in the game. Rifleman, this is good for if you want to do damage and also have some regen too. Leader, this is for cooling down your turret fast. You have plus four on deploy. Uh, so if you put this on when your turret's on cooldown, it will cool down even faster. Commando, this is for the shotgun build. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Tactician, so if you're in need of health and you want to, you know, regen really fast, pop this on, stand by your turret, and you will get your health back really fast. Marine, this is for regening rockets in case you're doing the uh, ledge glitch with Crawl, shooting the Leviathan or, you know, something like that. But you can either use this or the... Where's my support gunner? Oh, I have it on. Uh, or the support gunner. They both regen ammo. And then finally, Shock Trooper. This is for if you need grenades. Pop this on. Your grenades will regen really fast when you get a kill. And that's because you have plus four on Grenadier. Now we have our usual old cheaty health kit. Um, so what this is, is a health kit that's actually a thousand uses. So you don't have to like clog your inventory with a bunch of health kits. I find that really annoying. Uh, if you don't want it, you can just drop it. You know, get rid of it. Corrosive Rain. So in this game, Corrosive is the slag of this game. Kind of like Borderlands 2. So when you put a corrosive dot on the enemy, like they take a damage over time, you hit them with another weapon and they're going to take 15% more damage. So that's going to be good for that. Explosive longbow. Um, for the most part, grenades aren't all that great in this game. So I find this to be the best kind of direct damage. And a low level longbow for grenade jumping. All the pearl shields because people argue over which one's the best. Uh, Omega, you know, has shock resistance. Ironclad is high capacity. And Rose has regen. The booster, this is going to be for regen, uh, also you get bonus health. Um, you can use this or this, it doesn't really matter, they both pretty much do the same thing. So the Shattering Havoc, this is a weird gun. You get really high damage, really high rate of fire, decent mag. Um, so this is actually the highest raw damage for like an assault rifle in this game. For whatever reason, a blue version of this does more than the purple version. 
and I don't know why. Yeah, this is a really good gun for DPS, um, good for any situation. The Ajax Ogre now doesn't show on the card, but it is the Ajax Spear Hybrid uh, with the Ogre, and it has reduced recoil. Um, really good gun for any situation. Guardian, now I don't use this at all for damage, it's only for regen. You can see here you get 25 ammo regen for combat rifles. Put that on and the support gunner and you regen ammo like crazy. The Chopper. Now, it does use a lot of ammo, but it does so much DPS, and you'll see that in a bit. Transfusion, that's for healing, and finally the support gunner, this is going to be for ammo regen. Alright, so let's go over the build. So here's the build, this is going to be your everything build, uh, except for shotguns. Uh, mostly for solo too, I don't focus on like co-op skills. So if you want to do the shotgun build, take these five points here, put them right over here. That's it. Alright, so first off, you have all the artifacts, level 6 at max. I usually stick to Corrosive to debuff the enemies. First off, Scorpio turret. And at endgame, this kind of sucks. Yeah, I won't lie. It's only used for distractions and like regening ammo and your health and stuff like that. So you throw it on the turret, it distracts the enemies and you can run around and take them out. Impact, this will increase your bullet damage for all guns. Sentry, now like I said before, the turret's kind of useless at the end game. And trust me, I've tried to make it work too. It does not work. I've tried different builds and switched out comms. It's only used for distractions, so don't even bother picking this up. Scatter shot, like I said before, if you want to do the shotgun build, put the points from here over there and that's going to increase your damage and decrease your spread metal storm so this is a really op skill you get six percent weapon fire rate per point but that's not true you actually get 11 percent per point so at max you're getting 55 percent weapon fire rate bonus and with the heavy gunner com if you put that on you can boost it to plus nine which is 99 percent weapon fire rate which is actually really insane. So this is going to increase your DPS by quite a bit when you get a kill skill. Refires. So every two seconds you can cool down your turret when you shoot an enemy. The turret is only for distraction. So having it out more is going to distract the enemies and also give you regen for your health and all that stuff. We'll get to that in a second. Assault. This will increase your magazine size for combat rifles and give you recoil reduction. Guided missiles. So one point here because it's going to add missiles to your turret. And it's not for damage. It's for the stagger effect on enemies. So when your turret shoots an enemy and they stagger, with this skill, uh, it's going to stop them from shooting you, which means it's good for like survivability. So yeah, just put one point there. Defense, this is going to give you shield recharge rate. Stockpile, now this isn't all that great, but compared to Barrage, you don't want that for your turret. You don't need more damage for your turret. Don't worry about your turret. So it will give you regen when you're near your turret. So, you know, it's a little bit useful. Quick charge. So when you get a kill, you're going to regen your shield a little bit. Grenadier. So you don't use grenades too often, but having one point there is nice if you want to spam, you know, transfusions and whatever. It'll keep your grenades full. Deploy. So you have cooldown reduction so you can get your turret back faster for regening health and also ammo. Supply drop. So your turret's going to give you things of ammo when it's out. And you only need one point here. The regen's already plenty. You're going to have full ammo pretty much all the time. Uh, so I recommend just one point there. Fitness, this will increase your health. Aid station, so when you're near your turret, you have regen. You can regen health really fast. Overload, another really OP skill, uh, besides Metal Storm. You get 60% mag size on all your guns. And you can boost it more with class mods. Grit, this is for survival, you take less damage from bullets. And finally, stat, when you get a kill, you get health regen. And in combination with aid station, and also like a regen shield, your health is going to be flying up really fast. And yeah, that's the build. Pretty straightforward. You have good regen uh, for ammo and also health and big mag size and your turret's going to be out all the time. I do want to mention too, everything's maxed out for your proficiencies. So you get max damage for all your guns and reload speed, accuracy, all that good stuff. All right, as usual, I'm going to do the montage showing some boss kills and also like mobbing with and I'll meet you guys in a second. All right, so before we get started, I'm going to show you a trick. You can actually skip your turret animation if you do melee, uh, throw a grenade or switch weapons. So for example, if you melee and press the turret button, you see there, you can skip your animation and go straight into shooting bullets faster. So here's throwing a grenade. And finally switching weapons. Normally you do this and have to wait for the animation to shoot. A little bit slower.
Would you look at that? Legendary in the shop. Those are pretty common. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. And before I go, I'm going to show you one more glitch. Uh, so what you do is throw your turret and then equip the longbow grenade at low leveled. And then throw it at the bar of your turret and you can super grenade jump. Yeah, it duplicates the grenade. Why? I don't know. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like because that'd be epic. And I will see you guys later. Yeah, peace out. Bye.